Well, before we start, let's catch up on one of the main stars in the biathlon. Raphael Paré, the 20-year-old, the number one from France, the World Cup champion in 2000, 2001 and 2002. 23 wins in his career so far, but at the moment, he's 84 points behind his main rival, Ole Einar Bjorn-Dahlen. Well, how has the season gone for the Frenchman? He certainly doesn't enjoy being in second place. He says he feels it uh, quite like to start the whole season over again. He needs three weeks just to refocus, to decide what the objectives are, and of course now it's the World Championships that he will be going for. And he's got that time, having decided not to race in Ostersund, he's now got three weeks to spend some time with his wife, his uh, new baby and get back to the form that he knows he's capable of. Over the years, he's uh, learned to handle the media. He's remained totally focused. Things changing a little since his wife, Liv Greta Poiret, gave birth to their daughter, Emma. Talking about the birth, he says I was uh, in fact in Liv Greta's house on the 23rd of January and decided not to race in Antolz, but uh, his wife buying him a ticket and sending him from Norway down to Italy to compete in the mass start event. And uh, it was in response to a phone call from one Ole Einar Bjorndal and rang up and said, are you coming or, is, or am I going to take the race. Well, Raphael decided to make the journey. And he had no choice once that ticket was bought. Well, he didn't win the race. He came in in 13th position, but he did enough to maintain and hold on to the yellow bib. So he stays as number one in the world as the tour leaves Antolz. Well, the following week in Lati, things were a little bit different. It certainly seemed that the focus was waning. Bjorn Dahlen finishing in sixth and taking his eighth win of the season. Poiret, 18th and 9th. The yellow bib was to go to the Norwegian. In response, Poiret saying uh, he think he'd got used to wearing the colour yellow. He even looks for it when he prepares for the race. And when he sees it on some, someone else, it feels strange, he says. It feels wrong. It shouldn't be there. Well, from Lati, the tour went to Oslo Poré, who's already got two wins in the Holman Collins Stadium, but it wasn't to be his this year. 31st in the sprint, 13th in the pursuit. The few sleepless nights they'd had were starting to take their effect. Raphael saying that before uh, the birth of his child, his focus was 100% on biathlon. It's now 50% on the family, 50% on his sport. Well, as we mentioned, he's now 84 points behind uh, Oleana Bjorn in the World Cup standings, and the decision was made not to go to Ostersund to compete in the World Cup there. His focus now totally on the World Championships in Chianti Manzisk. Getting championship medals, winning golds, well, luck always plays its part. But if you have a good feeling for the course and the stadium, you're halfway there. Where I say he's Chianti Manzisk, it's a place uh, I enjoy. The tracks are very difficult, and that suits him. Says the range always has difficult conditions, it's windy, no one seems to shoot well there. A lot of people, a lot of noise, fantastic atmosphere, and the Russians give it absolutely everything to support their athletes. Well, we're expecting crowds of 30,000 plus for each event. What does Poiré expect from the World Championships this year? He says the objective is to race well, of course. And he says when Raphael Prey races well, he finishes in the top three. What he's after is to get into that zone, spot the targets, hit the targets, and of course, he wants victory. Well, he's got three weeks to prepare for those championships, and it'd be a brave man to say that Raphael was not 